Hi, welcome to today's Gentle Flow. Um, if this is your first Gentle Flow in my new space, then welcome to my new little yoga space. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoy today's class. All you're going to need is a couple of cushions, um, and apart from that, um, just you and your mat. So um, there'll be a couple of times when we're doing um, our vinyasas today, so I'll kind of forward fold, plank, lowering down to the ground, coming into cobra, um, where I won't do the lowering down to cobra onto my belly, just my bump is getting a little um, big for lying on my belly. So um, I'll just verbally direct for you to come down to your belly and I'm gonna stay uh, where I am and then we'll come back up and meet together. Um, but other than that, I'll be with you the whole way. So coming to start in a seated position when you're ready, um, you can come into cross legs if you want or kneeling if you prefer. And if you want to make it more comfortable, seeing as you've got your cushions, then you can pop them underneath the knees if that feels nicer. So feel free to get cosy, get into a position that feels comfortable for you. And then when you're ready, allowing your eyes to close, hands can come to wherever feels good, perhaps taking them one palm inside the other in a kind of little um, bowl shape in the lap for today, if that feels good. So this is a, a sort of hand position that's used quite a lot in yoga um, when we're sort of getting the body and the mind into a place to receive, to be open, and also when we're kind of trying to get a bit energised for practice. So um, before a flow class, this can be a really nice, uh, nice way to start. So taking a moment to allow the eyes to close, allow the kind of Thoughts to draw in words, moving away from the busyness of today. And maybe checking in with how your body's feeling today. Are there places that you know are feeling tight and uncomfortable? Checking in with how those spots are feeling. Maybe taking a short scan through the body, so checking in to see if there's anywhere that can maybe loosen up a little bit. So thinking about relaxing the knees. And then maybe opening up through the hips a little bit, letting them kind of sink down into the floor. Maybe there's a little bit of space for the shoulders to soften. Don't worry too much about physically having to draw them down or away or anything like that, but just seeing if you can let go a little bit, find a little bit of softness. And perhaps seeing if there can be softness also through the jaw. Maybe that kind of subtle, slight opening of the mouth so that the jaw can kind of fall away a little bit. The lips can still stay together, but just providing that little bit of space um, in the jaw. And then thinking about that space in between the eyebrows, often a place where we hold a huge amount of tension, seeing if you can almost imagine somebody smoothing that area out and creating a nice broad space in there. Noticing if that's kind of changed how your body's feeling, if there were any places that were holding on to tension. Maybe there's a little bit more space in the body now. And maybe that's created space also for the breath. Maybe you're starting to notice your breath. And again, no need for it to have to be a specific way right now, but drawing your attention to it and noticing what it's like. Is your breath long, short, deep, shallow? What's going on for you today? Taking a few more breaths before we begin class. 
Checking in with the body, checking in with the breath. Perhaps you can bring the breath now into the lower ribs, expanding the back of the body, the sides of the body. And maybe that means it could come a little bit deeper and be a little bit slower. On your next inhale, opening the eyes when you're ready. And we'll start off by taking some nice shoulder rolls. So just getting everything in the upper body moving. You could all get a bit stagnant and stuck up there. So inhale, bringing the shoulders up to the ears and then exhaling, shrugging them back and down. So taking a few of these up and back. And then on your next shrug, up, holding for a moment, up high. And then exhaling, deep sigh out through the mouth, <sighs> dropping them down low. Let's bring the arms up to the sky as you inhale, reaching up tall through the fingertips. So seeing if you can kind of almost gain an extra centimetre, an extra half inch of height. And then interlacing the fingers and just leaving the index finger pointing up. Inhale, reaching tall. And exhale, coming over to take a little um, dip over to the right hand side, stretching out the right side, uh, the left side, sorry, of the body. So turning over to the right with the fingers of the body. Inhaling back up to center and then leaning over to the left, opening up the right side. And you might find one side here is a lot tighter than the other. So having a little feel into what's going on, we'll come through that one more time. Inhaling to reach tall, exhaling over to the right. Inhaling tall. Exhaling over to the left and keeping both hip bones grounded when you're doing this. Inhaling tall, bringing your gaze up to your fingers, up to your hands, if that feels okay on the neck. And then tucking the chin slowly, interlacing all of the fingers now, opening up the palms and bringing the hands to come to the back of the head and letting the elbows come forward. So almost like you're creating a little basket for the head. So taking a really, really gentle stretch through the back of the neck. And then coming through that once more, so inhaling, Reaching up toward the fingertips, releasing that index finger, looking up to the hands. And then exhale, tucking the chin and bringing the hands in a little basket to the back of the head. And then slowly bringing the head upright and we'll just take a few side stretches with the head um, and the hands in this position. So as you exhale, coming over to the right. Inhaling to center. Exhaling to the left. Inhaling to center. And then releasing the hands, we'll take some really nice shakes up through the wrists, getting all that synovial fluid 
flowing and ready for class. So really good shake. Okay, and then removing any pillows, cushions, pop them off to the side, and we'll come into all fours. So hands are underneath the shoulders, knees underneath the hips. So we're starting off in our kind of tabletop position, fingers comfortably wide, wrist creases facing and parallel with the front of the mat. And then before we come into, um, instead of coming into cat cows, we're going to actually take some rocks through the hips. So rocking forwards and backwards. You can come as far, far forward and back as you want. Obviously be mindful when you're coming forward because we're taking um, quite a lot of stretch through the wrist. So maybe don't overdo it too much. And then maybe you want to move into some side to side motions, rocking hips side to side. And then perhaps you begin to move into circles with the hips and these can be anything that feels good. So having a little explore here. And then finding a way back to centre. Tucking the toes under here, pressing through the hands to lift the knees. So we're going to hover the knees for a second and then pushing back. So knees are lifted, pushing back. And then coming forward and lowering the knees. We'll do that just one more time. Um, this is optional if you'd rather stay with your circles, then feel free to do that. Otherwise, pressing through the hands, lifting the knees and moving the hips back. Coming forwards, lowering the knees, pressing through the hands. This time, we're going to press through hands and feet, lifting the hips, downward facing dog. So starting off in downward dog by pedaling the feet. So as you exhale, bringing the right heel down, coming up onto the left toes. Inhaling, finding your one to both toes. Exhaling, bringing the left heel down. So you can kind of work through this at your own pace opening up the back of the legs, maybe the first time today, maybe they're feeling a bit tight. And remembering that the heels don't need to be on the floor here. So you're just getting a sense of the heels reaching towards the ground, but they don't have to be there. And then taking a bend in both knees and a really, really deep bend. And then we're going to just kind of begin to straighten the legs. You don't have to straighten them the whole way. So taking little bends and straightens with both legs. And then walking the hands back to the feet when you're ready. Once you get there, bringing the feet to the edges of the mat. And we're going to bring the toes in. So this might feel a little bit weird toes in, heels out. And then from here, taking a forward fold. So don't worry if the hands don't reach the ground here. That's not the aim of the game. You're opening up the back of the legs. So you can absolutely hold on to um, the shins if you want. You can let the hands dangle. You can bring one hand inside each elbow. So see if you can get the upper body to be heavy. And we're going to be opening up the kind of outside edges of the legs here. So any kind of variation of forward fold that feels good for you. And we'll just take a couple more breaths here. On your next inhale, bringing the feet to parallel with the mat. And then we're going to come into a little twist. So if the hands don't reach the ground, 
then don't worry about that, bringing the left hand to the left shin. If the hand reaches the ground, you're welcome to bring the fingertips or the full hand down to the ground. So if you are holding on to the left shin, as you inhale, twisting and opening to the right, right hand comes up to the sky. But seeing if you can keep both hip bones pointed backwards here. So sometimes when we come into a twist, we bring the left hip forward to make the twist a bit easier. Seeing if you can keep that left hip pointing backwards and then open up just from the upper body, just from the waist. And if that doesn't feel comfortable for whatever reason, with that leg straight, feel free to take a bend in the knee to help with that twist a little bit. So that's an option as well. And then hands come back to center. Now we'll come on to the other side. So again, you can have right hand to the floor, to fingertips. You might want to bring right hand to the left, uh, to the right leg. And then opening up, twisting to the left. And of course you can take that bend in the right leg if you want, that might help you to come into the twist a little more if you're feeling quite tight. So taking whatever variation feels good um, for your body here, really kind of listening in. And then finding your way back to center. From here, we're gonna walk the hands out. So walking down the mat and coming into plank. So you might wanna bring the feet into hip width first, and then you can kind of roll forward. Bringing the knees down when you get there, untucking the toes, and then lowering all the way down to the mat. So bending the elbows and lowering all the way down. So I'm gonna stay here in my knees plank. Once you get all the way down to the ground, Pressing through the hands, peeling up from the breastbone, coming into your baby cobra or maybe a deeper cobra, keeping the shoulder blades um, drawn down and away so the shoulders are away from the ears. And then lowering back down, pressing back up onto the hands and knees and finding your way, tucking your toes down with facing dog. On your next inhale, taking a slow walk from your downward facing dog all the way to the top of the mat. Meeting together in halfway lift when you get there. So hands coming to shins in halfway lift so that the spine can be long. Or you can bring hands up to the thighs if that feels better. So whatever helps you get a long spine here, bringing the gaze straight down to the ground. And then as you exhale, coming into a ragdoll forward fold. So one hand inside each elbow. You can take a bend in the knees if you prefer here, or you can open up the back of the legs. But upper body's heavy. So the gaze is kind of coming towards the back of the mat. releasing the hands and then taking a really slow roll up through the spine all the way up to stand and you can take a little a little shake out from here we're just going to do a little bit more work to open up the back of the legs so bringing the hands to prayer and as you exhale coming down forward fold Inhaling, finding length in halfway lift. Exhaling, forward fold. And then inhale, rolling up to stand through the spine. So in those forward folds, again, don't worry if the hands don't touch the ground. You can take a bend in the legs. Uh, the hands can come to the shins, whatever feels good. Let's come through one more time. So when you're ready, hands to prayer, exhaling, hinging from the hips if you can, and then coming all the way down. 
Inhaling, drawing the hands to the shins or the thighs, halfway lift. Exhaling, forward fold. Now from here, interlacing the fingers behind the head, taking that kind of basket position like we did at the beginning. And if you want to, do take a deep bend in the knees, bringing kind of belly to thigh. Or you can stay where you are. And then releasing the hands, bringing them behind the back, interlacing the fingers. As you inhale, allowing the hands to rise up a little bit. Maybe they just move slightly away from the back. Maybe they come up a bit further. You can bring the palms together if you want a more intense opening on the shoulders. And then letting the hands kind of relax and come up. And again, feel free to take that bend in the legs if you prefer here. Exhaling, hands release down to the ground. And then stepping the left foot back, lowering down the left knee, untucking the toes into low lunge. Once you get there, finding somewhere to focus on, pressing into this front heel, rising up, reaching toward the fingertips. And maybe it feels comfortable to lift the gaze slightly, opening up the chest to the sky. Exhaling, hands down by the floor. And then bringing a hand to the right knee to kind of open up that hip a little bit. So you're opening up the knee to the right hand side and you can come onto the little toe edge of that right foot. So maybe your body starts to turn to the right as well. It's almost like a little twist. Inhaling, knee comes back to centre. And then opening up that right hand to the sky into a little twist. Exhaling, hands by the feet. And then lifting up the, tucking the back toes, lifting up the back knee and coming into downward facing dog. So again, knees can be bent here, they can be straight, you can be pedaling the feet. On your next inhale, walking the feet forwards to meet the hands at the top of the mat. Finding a way into halfway lift when you get there. Exhaling, forward fold. Bringing the hands down to the ground, you can bend the knees to help them get there. And then stepping the right foot back this time, lowering down the right knee, untucking the toes. Finding your spot to focus on, you can press through the heel of that front foot, rising up, low lunge. And then if you want to, you can kind of shine your chest to the sky a little bit, or you can stay looking forwards. As you exhale, hands come down by the feet, keeping the right hand on the ground, left hand comes up to the left knee, and then opening up that left knee to the side, rolling onto the little toe edge of the left foot. Taking another breath here. And then knee comes back to centre, opening up the right hand to the side. Sorry, left hand to the side. Exhale, left hand comes down, tucking the back toes, lifting up the knee and finding downward facing dog.
from here option to take a little vinyasa. So if you'd like to, then we're rolling forward into plank, lowering the knees down. And if you want to skip this, you can come into child's pose for a bit. Um, untucking the toes, bending the elbows towards the back of the room, lowering all the way down to the ground. Once you get there, pressing through the hands, peeling up into your cobra. And then exhaling, finding your way back down to the ground, pressing up onto the hands and knees again. If you've taken child's pose, coming forward onto the hands and knees, tucking the toes under and lifting the hips, downward facing dog. On your next inhale, walking the feet forwards, coming to meet the hands at the top of the mat. In halfway lift. Spine comes long, gaze down. Exhaling forward fold. And on your inhale, this time we'll rise all the way up, coming up to stand. Maybe the arms reach out to the sides, up overhead, and hands to prayer. As you inhale, arms reaching up to the side, up overhead. Hands come to prayer, hinging at the hips into your forward fold. Inhaling, finding your halfway lift, whether that's shins or thighs. Exhaling, hands by the feet, bending through the knees and stepping that left foot back, lowering the knee, untucking the toes, low lunge. Inhaling, reaching up tall with the hands. Maybe you open the chest. Exhaling, hands come back down by the feet. Right hand comes to right knee. We'll take a little open up here. So we're going through a little faster this time. Twisting the body open. Back to centre. And then right hand lifts up to the sky, coming into your twist. Bring in the right hand down as you exhale. And then we're gonna come into warrior two from here. So tucking the back toes under, lifting the back knee, and then bringing that back foot flat to the floor. So you might wanna take a little step in, keeping the bend in that front knee, rising up into your warrior two. So in warrior two, we've got a bend through that front knee, the hips are facing to the side of the mat, taking the feet to wherever feels comfortable, the back foot's flat, and then the arms are reaching out, fingertips reaching one end of the mat to the other. Now maybe here, turn the palms up for a minute, allow the hands to kind of get heavy, drawing the shoulders down. And then once you've done that, just turn the wrists and that should help keep the shoulders down a little bit. Bending your right elbow, bringing it onto the right thigh. And then inhale, left arm comes up and slightly overhead, if that feels good, palm facing down. So opening up this left side of the body and seeing if you can keep the chest open here. So if you're noticing that your chest is coming forward, then bring the arm a little bit higher up. Inhale, rising back up into your warrior two, palms facing down, straightening the front leg, and then seeing if you can get a feeling of shifting the hips to the back of the mat, reaching forward with the fingertips of the right hand, and then tipping from the waist, so keeping the hands exactly where they are and seeing where the hand comes down to. So maybe it comes to the thigh, maybe it comes to the shin. And then seeing if you can reach that left arm up and you can either hold on to that leg if that feels better for balance, but seeing if maybe you can even hover the hand just to build a little bit of strength in the core. So coming into triangle pose. Inhaling, rising back up. And then spinning onto the back toe to bring the hands down to the ground and stepping back into downward facing dog. So we'll give that one a go on the other side as well. 
And of course, come to rest at any time that feels good. So let's walk forwards from here to the top of the mat. We'll have a little break, halfway lift, forward fold. So starting off in your halfway lift, hands to shins or thighs. Exhaling, forward fold. And then bending the knees so that you've got a nice solid grounding with the hands. Stepping that right foot back, lowering the knee down, untucking the toes, finding your low lunge. So inhaling, rising up. Maybe you want to open and broaden through the chest. Exhaling, hands down by the feet. Opening up that left hip, coming onto the little toe edge of the left foot, and little twist to the side. Finding your way back to centre with the knee. And then left hand rises up to the ceiling. Open twist. Exhaling, hand by the foot. Tucking the back toes, lifting the back knee. Grounding down that back foot, so a little step in to ground the back foot. And then grounding down through both feet to help you rise up into your warrior two. Feel free to adjust the feet when you get there. And seeing if you can keep that knee tracking towards the little toe edge of the foot at the front there. And bringing the hips and the shoulders stacking on top of each other. You can do that little trick with the hands if that was helpful last time. So bringing the palms up, letting the hands be heavy, and then turning them over. Bending the left elbow and bringing the elbow to the thigh and then right hand rises up and comes overhead palm facing down. So seeing if you can create space between the ear and the shoulder on the left side, sometimes it's easy to want to sink down. So really pressing into that hand, lifting away. And then seeing if you can keep the chest open. So the arms are right up over the top of the head. It's not forwards in front of the body. Taking a moment in your extended side angle, opening up the right side. And then inhale, rising back up into your warrior two. Straightening the front leg. Let's give triangle a go on this side. So moving the hips to the back of the mat, reaching forward with the left hands, and then getting a sense of tipping at the waist, letting the hand come to wherever it naturally falls. And the hand can either rest on the leg just avoiding the knee, so we throw a bubble below the knee. Or if you want to, you can see about having the hand so that it's kind of just inside of that leg and seeing if you can support the body. So either one's okay. And the gaze can come up to that top hand or if that's uncomfortable on the neck, then feel free to just look straight ahead, that's fine. We're rising back up. And then taking a little bend through that front knee, we're going to come up onto the back toes, hands come down by the body, uh, by the floor, and then stepping back down with facing dog when you're ready. So taking a couple of breaths in our final downward facing dog, really seeing if you can reach the hips high, really pressing through all of the fingers. So all 10 fingers, all knuckles of 10 fingers, getting the hands as flat as you can. And then coming forwards to lower the knees down and taking a little rest. So finding your tabletop all fours position, hands underneath shoulders, knees under hips, rolling through a couple of cat cows to release the spine, release the body. So inhaling, tailbone rises, hips rise, chest comes forward through the hands. And exhaling, tucking, rounding, opening up the back of the body. Coming through one more time. And finding a way back to center, bringing big toes together, the knees can be apart here, and moving the hips back to sit on the heels, taking a couple of breaths, a little rest in child's pose. And 
Letting the breath come deep into the back of your body. And then on your next inhale, rolling forward, back up onto the hands and knees, and bringing the feet out to the side, coming to sit down. So from here, grab and hold of your cushions. We'll take a seated um, Baddha Konasana. So bringing the soles of the feet together, letting the knees open up to the sides. And this is where you can pop your cushions underneath your legs so that they're not having to hold on, there's no gripping. And then seeing if you can find a little bit of length to sit up tall through the spine here. Option if you want to give yourself a little bit of a foot massage here. This is a perfect position for it. You can get into the arches of the feet. So working with the thumbs to come down the arches or up the arches, whichever way feels best. So the feet can end up getting really, really tight, really tired. And this is a nice opportunity to allow them a little bit of a little bit of loosening, a little bit of relaxing as the hips are opening up. If that doesn't feel good, you can just hold on to the feet and use the feet to help you draw your chest forward. That's fine. If you're feeling particularly open in this position and you'd like to take a forward fold, then folding forward from the breastbone and coming to wherever feels good. So you can come part way down, resting elbows onto um, the calves, or you can fold further, you can bring the head down to the feet if you want, or staying sitting upright if that's better, and then staying with your foot massage. So we'll stay here for a few more breaths. Feel free to close the eyes if you want. And really seeing if you can release your knees from any holding, if they're trying to support the weight of the, the legs by kind of moving in a little bit. Get the cushions really well under there so that they're not having to do that. And then opening the eyes, if you close them, hand underneath each knee, bringing the feet to the floor, moving the cushions away to the side, hands behind the body, and then taking a little windscreen wiper through the legs. So the knees don't need to come all the way down here. Maybe you want to take a pause as they come over to one side. Having a little twist, you can take your gaze over the opposite shoulder if you want. And then gently swapping over. And back to centre. And then from here, we're going to come into Shavasana. So find your way into your um, chosen Shavasana position. Maybe you want to come down onto your back, opening up your body. You can use your cushions underneath head, knees, whatever you prefer. So feel free to come all the way down and open up, supporting the body in any way that feels good. You can keep the knees bent if you like, bringing knees together, feet to the outsides of the mat. So whatever it is that feels best for you, and if you prefer um, any other position, then finding um, another position. So I'm going to stick with seated, but go with whatever feels best for you. And once you get there, allowing the eyes to close, the body to fall away into the ground.
Noticing every point of contact that your body has with the ground and imagine each of those points of contact getting heavier and drawing down deeper. What does it feel like in your body at the moment? How does it feel compared to the beginning of class? Feeling the back of your body becoming heavy against the ground, the front of your body opening up. Taking a few moments here to breathe into this space. Allow yourself to sink deeper, become heavier. If you're able to today, please spend a few more minutes in whatever position you've chosen, allowing your body to rest, really important part of yoga practice. Thank you for joining me today. Namaste.